Man and his machine are pushed to the limits in the ultimate driving test as they face the dangerous ice roads of the Arctic Ocean. Ice Road Truckers follows an elite team of truckers as they navigate extreme weather conditions, isolation, and unseen conditions all to make a living and become king of the road. One of the show's, show's stars, Alex Dubogorski, is an ice road veteran of some uh, over 20 years, and he joins us live to tell us about where you can see him in northeast Wisconsin, which is the Manitowoc County Fair. Alex, thanks for joining us. Thank you. You just showed me a picture of your family. What a great family. You have 11 kids and one, is it one grandchild, or you have more than We one? have nine grandchildren, though. Wow. Amazing. And you're, I mean, uh, tell me a little bit about Ice Road Truckers, because um, I watch it, and I know a lot of folks watch it. When were you approached to do this thing? How did the whole idea come about? Well, three years ago, ago I mean, I was, this is what I've been doing for a living, and uh, History Channel or somebody on their behalf approached us well, at home in Yellowknife, and they were looking for characters. And I guess uh, as they went through town talking to different people they'd like to have on the show, they kept pointing out that they should come and see me because I was a bona fide character. <laughs> so it finally paid off being a character, I guess. <laughs> well, there's the laugh. There's the laugh. I wanted you to do the laugh because that's what I identify you with. And I also identify you with uh, maybe your um, give and take with Hugh, right? Well, there's a little bit of competitiveness <laughs> there. <laughs> that's the other uh, gentleman that uh, <clears throat> joins Alex this year on, on really a new ice road for you, right? Tell us about this year's uh, season. This year's season was <laughs> in Alaska going between Fairbanks and, and Prudhoe Bay, which is about 500 miles. Uh, probably the most dangerous road we've driven on so far as far as the, se the series goes. And Alex, uh, am I right when, it, when you were training, was it tough? Were, were you the one that had tough getting in gear going up hills? Or well, it was I a new a, truck? I have, it was a new truck. Right. It's a new job, it's new people. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, I've had a little bit of trouble with the transmission. Uh, not, I'm not a big fan of the transmission. The transmission is still in that particular truck. Really? I didn't break it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I didn't do that bad a job. <laughs> no, and I don't mean to, to point that out. It's just that uh, you know, that was one of the episodes there where they're, they're setting things up. You also um, you have a female uh, this year on the roads. Is that something unusual? Have you run into a lot of females that do this type of work? There are more and more ladies that are driving truck. When we drove out of Yellowknife, there was girls driving trucks there, and you see many ladies driving trucks on the highways of North America at this time. Doing it for so long, I mean, how do you do it for so long? I, I was talking a little earlier in the show, the, the fact that I get sweaty palms just watching you guys go over some of those roads. What was your most, what was the worst experience you ever had? Did you ever get into a major crash? I've never been in a major crash as far as working with trucks. Uh huh. I mean, I've had friends that have gone through the ice. I've had, uh, you know, people that I've known have died going through the ice. There's not that many. Uh, many people have close calls, but, you know, that's close calls only count in hand grenades and horseshoes. <laughs> did, and did you have any close calls? Not, not as far as going through the ice. Yeah. Not, that it, not that I know of. You don't really know. Sometimes you go over thin ice and uh, you don't really know it because you aren't measuring it because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the ice is not always the same thickness for the full length of the road. Uh, quite often the ice can be quite forgiving depending on the temperatures. If it's very cold, if it's 40 below and you get over ice that's a little on the thin side, it isn't very forgiving because it's, it's like glass, it'll break. Whereas if you're getting around, uh, you know, it would be uh, 32, you know, around freezing point and uh, early in the spring then the ice becomes a little more rubber so it's a little more forgiving. And, and you know, I'm wondering, after you see, after you do the season, you really don't see the final cut, you see the shows, and as a matter of fact, tonight they can join, or I believe it's tonight, we have information about when they can see the show with Alex at the Manitowoc County Fair and when you're signing autographs, and we have all that on fox11online.com, but uh, when you watch the show uh, for the first time, um, you know, they make it so dramatic. It is dramatic, but do you say to yourself, oh, man, you know, it, does it look harrowing to you when you're, you're watching it rather than doing it? Not for me. <laughs> that's, that's, I've already done that once, and I'm just watching it for a second time. As far as I'm concerned, once it's done, it doesn't count anymore. <laughs> now, at the end of last season, you, uh, you had a little bit of a health scare. What happened there? Well, I, had, uh, I ended up with blood clots in my lungs. I take thyroid, I'm hypothyroid, and it seems that I've taken too much thyroid over a period of time, and my heart had sped up to about 135. And 
one's heart's meant to pump like that. Uh -huh. So every pump, it cleans the blood out, and mine got so it's going like this. So it means that blood will get, uh, I guess, fibrillating or something they call the term. And so stale blood will not all clear out of the blood, out of the heart, and it'll clot there. And every once in a while, it'll pump it out, and it uh, I've got some clots in my lungs, and I become a bit short of, oh. of breath. Probably should have went to the doctor a little earlier, but. Uh, so they caught it in time, and it's a, yeah, I didn't die. Well, I, uh, <laughs> you, can, you can touch me; I'm the real thing. <laughs> oh, look at that. He is. He's so warm. Son of a god. <laughs> I don't, we can't get a close up of this great family, but boy, do you remember all their names? I've got them written on the back okay. of the picture. <laughs> Alex, uh, thanks for joining us. And I, I, I want to I get my sheet of paper here, but I got to get my uh, my uh, cheaters on. But you're going to be uh, you can join Alex to watch Ice Road Truckers, and that um, all that information is on fox11online.com. But that is going on tonight at the Manitowoc County Fair. Then you have autograph sessions, I believe Thursday through Saturday again at the Manitowoc County Fair. And uh, Alex, if you forget, you can go to our website, and, and we'll, we'll give you the times where you have to autograph people for people, okay? Very good, sir. <laughs> Thank you very Alex, much. thanks for joining us. Thank you.